My brother Milo is trying to stop me from speedrunning Minecraft, but he has no idea that whatever I draw comes to life. I'm going to be trying to speedrun the game, Milo, and you have to hunt me down to try and stop me. I'm the best speedhunter in the world! I can't wait to get you, Chip! You're going to have to prove it, because if I defeat the Ender Dragon and get the egg, I win. But if you catch me and kill me before that, you win. You don't stand a chance! You better stop running, Chip, because I'm going to get you. I get a 60-second head start. Start counting, Milo. Okay. One, two, three. What Milo doesn't know is I'm going to be using the drawing mod to paint every single thing that I need to win this challenge. Milo's going to have no idea, and it's going to make this speedrunning versus hunter challenge so much easier. First, I'm going to need a bunch of wood. We cannot beat this thing without tools, even if we are a super cool painter. I think that's enough wood. Let's make a crafting table. This is a perfect amount of tools. We're doing so good so far. Milo must be nearly done counting now, so I've got to be really careful. 59, 60. Ready or not, Chip, here I come. And wait, he's right there. I'm going to get you, Chip. You better stop running. Oh, no. Milo, you're hot on my tail, but I think I can outrun you. Let me just go over this hill. Wait a minute. What's over here? Oh, there's a cave. I bet I can hide from Milo in here. You just went over this hill. Where is he? I think we're safe. I think it's time to use the drawing mod to try and get Milo to lose this challenge. Hmm. What can I draw first? Something that Milo hates, obviously, but what could that be? Maybe a creeper, but hmm. That seems too boring. I feel like creepers are something that Milo sees every day. There's something everyone sees every day. There must be some way to draw a type of creeper that's more scary than just a regular creeper. <gasps> I know exactly what to do. Let's draw the creeper's face like normal so that Milo is not suspicious of it. But then when it's time to draw the actual creeper, oh my gosh, it's not going to be like the other creepers at all. This creeper is going to be a mutant creeper, one of the most powerful creepers in the history of the game. Let's draw the face like normal, but mutant creepers don't just have a normal body. Mutant creepers are huge and they have a bunch of tentacles. They almost look like spiders crossed with kangaroo creepers. They're really freaky and they're one of Milo's biggest fears. The legs are really strong and muscly as well because they are so much stronger than a normal creeper. They can even spawn little baby creepers. So let's spawn a bunch of tiny ones down here to give the mutant creeper the power to spawn an army of mini creepers. I'm already scared of this thing, but our drawing is complete. Now we've just got to wait for Milo to come into this cave and try to find us and then we can activate the drawing to totally terrify him. You gotta be around here somewhere, Chip. I swear I can hear you talking. Uh oh, Milo hears us. Let's be really careful. I think he's about to come around into the cave at any second now. There's an echo coming from down here. I'm gonna check it out because I think you might be down in here and Chip, I found you! Quick, let's activate the drawing in three, two, one. <laughs> Well, Milo, I'm using a drawing mod to win at Speedrunner versus Hunter. What? That is so unfair. I'm gonna get my revenge, Chip. This is perfect. We now have this cave all to ourselves, but we can't stay here forever. I think it's time to reset this canvas and draw something totally new to help us get out of this cave. Let's paint the canvas a dark gray color, just like the cave is. And now I'm gonna draw something that's a little weird, but it's really important. This creature is one of the fastest and friendliest mobs in the whole game. It has four powerful legs with hoofs at the bottom, just like a donkey. But this creature isn't a donkey. This creature is famous for having a really really, really long face and beautiful, luscious hair. Wow, this kind of looks like my friend from high school. And lastly, we need to give it a massive, beautiful flowing tail because this creature is a horse. One thing every horse needs though is a saddle and we're gonna give it a saddle so that we can ride this horse. This horse is gonna be our best friend and it's gonna help us beat this challenge. Let's summon the horse in three, two, one. Wow, it came to life. It doesn't have the luscious golden flowing hair of my drawing, but hey, it's the next best thing. We're going to take the horse and ride it out of this cave and away from Milo. Ugh, this village sucks. I can't find a single cave with any iron or diamonds. <gasps> Wait a minute. 
I don't need to find a cave. I have the drawing mod. We are going to draw the coolest tools in the history of this game. And of course, the first one is going to be a diamond pickaxe. I'm so excited to get this thing. This is looking perfect. Time to activate it and give myself a diamond pickaxe. Now let's draw all the other tools I could possibly need, like this diamond sword. Let me make this as long and sharp as I possibly can. If I was Milo, I would be begging for mercy if I saw this thing. Time to give it to myself in three Three, two, one. Oh yeah, look how shiny it looks. Now, rather than just drawing one item at a time over and over and over again, I'm gonna draw a whole bunch of items all at once. And that's perfect because these go so well together. First, a diamond helmet to protect my head from getting bonked by Milo. Next, a diamond chest plate. That is the most important piece of armor. So it's really critical that Milo can't hit me through it. Let's also draw some diamond leggings. Everyone always forgets about them because there's so many cooler pieces of armor, but leggings are really important. And last, but definitely not least, the diamond boots to protect my feet because I don't wear shoes. Now that I'm fully done drawing my diamond armor, it's time to activate it in three, two, one. Whoa, I have so much diamond armor. Now there's only one thing left for me to draw. These are some of the most overpowered items in the game and you can't even craft them. You used to be able to, but they actually removed it one update because it was too overpowered. These are enchanted golden apples and it's important that we add a bunch of magical effects to this golden apple so that the game knows to give us an enchanted one, not just a regular one. Let's add some pink sparkles as well. This needs to look as magical as it possibly can if we want to get a golden enchanted apple. Perfect. I'm going to summon in this item in three, two, one. Whoa, it gave me 64 of them. I'm so powerful. I'm going to put on my diamond armor and eat my enchanted golden apple. Let's take this easel here. Milo, how did you find me here? Here, pal, did you have all that diamond armor? Oh, uh, well, you see, my grandma, she, she came and... Uh, Hang on a second, stop. Lying. I just remembered you're using the drawing mod. I'm gonna get you. Uh, no, you're not. Oh gosh, we've got to run away from Milo quick. Oh my goodness, where can I go? Milo's getting really good at catching us when we run away. He knows us so well. Uh, oh wait, I know exactly where we can go. Let's hide in the water. Milo's not gonna follow us. Okay, you hit that cactus and wait a second. Where did you go? Milo's above the water and he's looking around. He doesn't see us, but okay, we've got to draw some potions that'll help us survive down here. Let's put down the easel and the canvas. Ouch, ouch. We have to keep eating these enchanted golden apples so we don't drown, but that means we have to go really quick. Let's use the biggest setting of the brush and erase the golden apple. I think it's time to draw some important potions. The first potion we're going to draw is a water breathing potion, and those are famously blue. Oh gosh, our health is running really low. Let's eat another enchanted a golden apple and now we're back up with those absorption yellow hearts let's quickly draw the border around the potion as well the game needs to know that this is a potion and not just some sort of raindrop we also have to make sure that the potion is nice and enchanted just like a real potion would oh goodness we need to eat another enchanted golden apple our health is getting really low okay the potion is now complete let's see if the game knows what we were trying to draw let's activate the drawing in three two one potions of water breathing this is perfect let's splash it on us and wow we can breathe underwater that is a relief i'm gonna eat another enchanted golden apple to get our hearts back and i think it's time to start drawing some other potions this is gonna be a potion of extreme instant damage it's gonna hurt milo a bunch and we're gonna be able to throw it on him let's also add some purple enchanting because it can't really hurt to have an enchanted damage potion can it all right we're gonna activate this one now in three two one perfect we got so many i still think there's some other potions we can draw though just like the slowness potion let's also make it nice and shiny it does look like an actual potion and that's crazy we've got to make it enchanted as well and let's see if it gives it to us in three two one we got it now there's only one potion left to do i know the bottle looks empty or like it's full of dust but this potion is kind of special you actually can't get it in normal survival unless you're attacked this potion is the levitation potion and we can use it to raise milo off the ground as high as we want him to go i've also drawn arrows in so the game knows this potion is meant to raise milo really high up let's see if it actually worked i hope it did in three two one 
Levitation potions. This is perfect. Let's pick up the easel and see if we can get out of the water and use our brand new potions on Milo. I don't see Chip anywhere over here. Maybe he went back into the village. Hey, Milo, it's me. Oh, Chip, why are you coming towards me? You're meant to be running away. Oh, why would I run away when I have potions of slowness? What? Oh, no, Chip, now I can't run. And now that you're stuck and you can't run away from my potions, I have potions of instant damage. Ah! And my favorite potion of them all. I have a potion of levitation. No, Chip, what have you done to me? Get me down from here. Bye-bye, Milo. Enjoy your new vacation in the clouds. I'm going to get on my horse and ride as far away as possible. I don't want a vacation in the clouds. Get me down or else I'm going to get my revenge. Yeah, good luck with that. Bye, Milo. There you are, horse. Come on, we've got some speed running to do. Whoa, this beach is awesome. It's on its own little private island. Come on, horsey. I've got a great idea for what to do here. I'm going to take out my easel, my canvas, and start drawing a bunch of enchantments. The first thing you need to draw when you want to enchant anything in this game is a bookshelf. It's really important because the books contain the magical power that the game uses to enchant things. Okay, we're totally done. It's time to activate it and get the bookshelves in three, two, one. We did it. We got a whole stack of them. Now there's only a couple other things we need to get enchanting. Probably the most important part of enchanting anything is the enchanting table itself. You cannot get enchantments in game unless you use this thing or find a book somewhere. And I don't really want to go exploring. I'd rather draw. Enchanting tables have a huge base made out of obsidian. But another important part is the diamonds on the side. Enchanting tables also have red at the top. I'm actually not sure where the red comes from because there's nothing red in the entire crafting recipe. The obsidian is also covered in purple, just like this. Let's draw the final part of the enchanting table. This is the book that floats on top of the thing. This is what you read in order to get the enchantment. So we've got to draw this really carefully. Otherwise, the book is just going to be gobbledygook. And I don't really want to read that. Pages can be a nice golden yellow color because gold is really rare. So maybe it'll even make the enchantments better. It's finally done. Let's see if the drawing will activate in three. Three, two, one. Whoa, we got one. This is perfect. We only need a couple things more and we can actually start enchanting. Even though this type of rock is blue and I do not like the color blue, it's still a type of blue that I actually prefer more than Milo's color. This rock is called Lapis Lazuli and you need it if you want to get enchanting. All right. Let's try and activate it in three, two, one. We got it. Look, we got a whole stack. Now there's just one thing left. I've never actually drawn this before, so it's going to be a bit tricky, but you know what? I think we can do it. We're really good at drawing here, so this shouldn't be a problem for us at all. This is a bottle of enchanting. We're going to activate it and use the new enchantment orbs to enchant all of our armor in three, two, two, one. Whoa, we got so many of these things. Let's throw as many as we can to get super duper high levels. I wonder how high we can go. Let's see if we can get it to 50 because then all the enchantments are going to be overpowered. Oh yeah, baby, we made it. Let's get started on this enchantment area. First, let's enchant our sword. Whoa, unbreaking three and sharpness four. That's crazy. What can we get on our pickaxe? Efficiency four and fortune three. That's insane. This thing can mine so fast. But now it's time for a part of enchanting that I'm actually really scared of. We need to take off our armor and I really hope Milo doesn't chase us around this time. If he does, I'll be so weak and vulnerable to attack. So we better hurry and enchant these things with, whoa, protection three and unbreaking. That's crazy. I've already put the boots back on and now what are we gonna get for this chest plate? Unbreaking three, that is insane. That means it's basically invincible. What else can we get for our leggings? Blast protection, that'll make us really strong against TNT and creepers. Fire protection as well, if Milo tries to burn us, he won't know what hit him. Look at us. We're so enchanted. Nothing can ever stop us now. Hi, Chip. Milo, what? How did you get here? I was following you while I was levitating up in the air, and I found these feather falling boots in the village earlier. Oh, gosh, uh, I'm gonna pick up my painting. I think I'm in big trouble. You and that silly painting. 
I'm gonna get you! No way. Oh gosh, let's run through the jungle. Wow, this island is crazy. Yeah, this is a very crazy island. It's gonna be even crazier when I get you! No, you won't. No way. Uh-uh. I'm gonna climb this pillar of sand. Hopefully this is enough to get away from Milo. You're never gonna kill the Ender Dragon! Yes, I will, Milo. I'm a speedrunner and you're just a lousy hunter. I'm gonna take down the dragon if it's the last thing I do. Come back here! I'm gonna get a hit on you sometime! Oh no, I think I'm cornered. Where do I go from here? You have nowhere to go, Chip. This is it for you, okay? Time for my attack. Let's get you! Um, Milo, that did no damage. What? What do you mean it did no damage? It didn't damage me at all. My armor must be so powerful. Well, how about this? Wait, TNT, I don't know if I can survive that. How are you still alive? This is not good. Wait a second, Milo. If my armor's strong, then that means my sword is probably strong as well. No, Chip! Get away from me! No way. Come back here, Milo. I'm gonna get you. No! Get away from me! I don't think so. Oh, yes! Yeah, stuck in the vines, baby! We totally took down Milo with our brand new overpowered armor. Now it's time to head back to that part of the island and draw the entry into the end dimension. This is the end portal frame, and it's the thing that we're gonna build this end portal out of. Now, it's really important that we draw this thing accurately, otherwise we could be stuck in a dimension we've never seen before, and we'll never beat the game like that. This is looking great, but let's add some little rubble marks on this block to make sure the game knows that this is endstone and not cheese or something else like that. I think this is perfect. Let's give ourselves the portal frames before we work on the eye. Hopefully this worked in three, two, one. Perfect, it even gave us 12. That's the exact right number. Now it's high time. We started with eye time and there's only one eye I'm gonna be drawing today. That's the eye of Ender and this thing is actually so scary. It's finally complete. Let's see if this drawing is accurate enough to give us the eyes of Ender in three, two, one. We did it, we got 12 eyes of Ender. This is perfect. Now we can pick up our easel and start making the portal. We've got to place this thing in a really specific specific pattern, otherwise it won't work. And even though we have a powerful pickaxe, these blocks are impossible to mine in survival. Before we put in the eyes of Ender and summon the gateway to the end, we need to quickly draw a bow and arrow so we can take down all the towers. That is perfect. Let's pick up our drawing kit and put in these eyes of Ender. One, two, three, four, five, six, and all the way up to the number 12. Whoa, that sound is insane. This means that when we jump through this portal, we are onto the final stage of the speedrunner versus hunter challenge where we have to fight the ender dragon. Hopefully we can destroy this thing before Milo takes us down. Let's go. This is it. We've made it to the end with the dragon. We've got to get off this platform and get to the main island where we can start taking down these crystals. Luckily, I can use these oak planks that we got from earlier to build up to these towers. Oh gosh, the dragon's coming towards me. I hope it doesn't take me down. But look, there's the first crystal. Let's use our bow to shoot it. And it worked! Oh gosh, I'm not as powerful as the Ender Dragon. Even though I'm totally immune against Milo, we've still got to be really, really careful here. Oh gosh, I'm on really low health. Let's eat a golden apple that we got from earlier to regain it back. Wow, the dragon's shooting so many powerful fireballs at me, but luckily we can take down as many of our crystals as we want with our crazy good arrows. Let's tower up to these ones surrounded by iron bars and use the pickaxe that we drew earlier to dig through. Let's dig this one and this one away and boom! The towers are still healing it. Maybe we can get these other towers from here because we're high up and we've got a really good vantage point. There are only a couple crystals left. I really hope we can take them down and beat Milo in this speedrunner versus hunter challenge. Let's tunnel up to this one final tower that we can stand on where we'll be able to aim for the other final crystal. Okay, we've got that crystal down. Stay back, Ender Dragon. You can't take me today. Let's bridge over as quick as we can to see if we can get a better view on that end crystal that we have to destroy. All right, please. Hopefully we're close enough to take down this crystal now. We did it! We got the crystal. Now it's time to take out the dragon. I think we totally stand a chance now. There's nothing stopping us. Wait, what? What just hit me? I got hit by an arrow? Down here, Chip! What? Milo, how did you get here and what? Why do you have netherite armor? I've been getting all my good stuff so that I can get here 
and kill you right before you defeat the dragon. Oh, no. You're just going to shoot me down. Ow. I better run away from this. Come here, Chip. I think I'm going to get you. Oh, no. You're so much more powerful than me now, Milo. How did you get so OP? Because I got so much good stuff. I did some enchanting. I mined for some netherite. Wait a minute. I think I need to find a secret way to hide. Let's go around this tower and dig down. Okay, hopefully Milo doesn't see us. We've got to go quick and let's block up the hole. Now we're hidden away from Milo. Wait, where did you disappear to? Did you jump in the void? Uh, yeah, totally. What the? Okay, Milo's looking in the void. Now, I think it's time to use our drawing kit to draw ourselves a tool to help us escape. This is the final drawing we even have a chance to do, so we need to pull out all the stops. It's time to draw a command block. Now, these are not normally available in survival, but this is an extremely important circumstance that needs a command block for us to be able to escape out of here alive and defeat Milo in the speedrunner versus hunter drawing challenge. Okay, the command block is complete. Let's see if the game recognizes our drawing and blesses us with the command blocks. Whoa, it worked. Okay, it even gave us 64. That is the highest number of command blocks I've ever seen before. Let's see if we can find a place to use it. Let's tunnel up and tower over to the tallest tower where we can activate these command blocks. Hopefully the dragon doesn't shoot us off in the meantime. The dragon is perching. I think it's low on health. Taking out the crystals must have really done a number on it. And we are at the top of this tower. There's even a bedrock block here. And now now it's time to activate these command blocks. All right, we've got the command blocks down and wait a minute, I hear something. Is that Milo? Oh my goodness, what are you doing? I'm nearly gonna get you, Chip. You thought you could hide up here. Oh no, quick, I need a way to activate these, but we don't have any redstone. I need to draw a lever. It is time to activate this drawing and to give ourselves a lever in three, two, one. We've got Naliba. Milo is still tunneling up, so we have to activate this thing quick and to kill the dragon. Look, it's summoning a rain cloud of TNT over it. Chip, I'm gonna get you. Well, Milo, there's not much time left. Look, the dragon is being destroyed. No! Stop it! That's not fair! You're cheating! Milo, I did it! I beat the game as a speedrunner and destroyed you! No! I can't believe you did that! Look, you use these stinky command blocks. Now, I'm going to defeat you, Milo. Bye-bye. No!